Okay, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Mang the Duelist. And uh, so yesterday, I uh, started streaming Duelist to pretty much nobody. And unfortunately, I found out after I ended the stream that I my microphone wasn't working at all. So I actually got up to rank 20, although you, you won't be able to see any of that, un I, unfortunately. Um, my mic should be working this time. We shouldn't have any issues. And I am streaming again, just, you know, for the hell of it. There's no reason really not to. And so we're going to be picking up then at rank 20 with our Abyssian deck, which is still pretty much the same. It, it needs a lot of work, no doubt. Um... Like, I think, you know, if your scroll bar is that long, it's not great. Um, I actually had a really... I actually had a really good play with the Reaper of the Nine Moons yesterday, um, which was cool. I'd like, you know, more Blood Moon Priestesses. I'd probably swap out the Abyssal Juggernaut because there's absolutely no synergy there. I'd like some more Wraithling Swarms. I'd probably take out maybe one of these. Um, Shadow Watcher, I don't know. We really have yet to have anything great with a Shadow Watcher. I'd like to have more Deathfire Crescendos because that's just insane. More Gloom Chasers. And um, more Darkfire Sacrifices, perhaps. Although, the synergy of that is really... I like the Destroy part almost more than the the summon part because I really don't have anything huge to summon but occasionally we can get one out one of these one of these five drops out pretty early um, but the problem is the problem with the crafting system which I haven't really talked about it's very similar to hearthstone it's very similar there's they even call it spirit uh, to create cards the other thing the, the problem though is that they also use shards if it was just spirit it wouldn't be an issue at all but you also need shards and I think if if I had one really big complaint is that they remove this whole common shards bullshit completely. The other shards, okay, I understand fine, um, because I think making a legendary in this game is a bit easier, perhaps, than, uh, well, I guess not really, because you need to disenchant legendaries to get more legendaries, it's just, so I guess maybe not. But I guess it's not that easy at all in Hearthstone either. But anyway, you know, you're getting them mostly from packs. But commons, you can't make any common card without five common shards. And so there are a bunch of commons that I'd like to have, but I'd have to disenchant a bunch of commons to get it. Like this Shadow Reflection. I need 100 spirit. No, fine, no problem. But you need five common shards. You only get one, generally, for disenchanting a common card. So... I'd have to get rid of like five other commons just to get one new common like ugh, that's just not fair they need to switch that up but all right let's get into it Vitruvian versus Abyssian okay this also has no synergy really uh, this is better in a shadow creep deck which we're not running so uh, I'd also swap that out. I could probably swap it out now for some other one drops like a dragon lark or a uh, I don't remember what to call the the one cost airdrop. I'd like to have that. I'd like to have a crystal wisp even. But alas, we do not live in that kind of world. Um. guess that's that okay deathfire crescendo uh, that's a possibility nope okay bone swarm it's actually the first time I've ever seen that cast I guess it cycles itself out and you got to kill that a Doomcaster on its own to get that and to get that and then he's gonna bring out an obelisk okay well that represents a slight issue not a huge one because I'll probably just dispel it 
Alternatively, I could just kill it, but if I dispel it, then it's just a waste of space. So I think we will do that to get rid of that. And then I think we'll kill this. <laughs> Another one to dispel. I like that it doesn't dispel the gateway part. So no matter what, it can never move or attack. You can potentially give it provoke, I think. Okay. I'll be at five mana. Potentially, let's cycle out this. Okay, that doesn't help us. If this survives a turn, it's pretty good. Although, if he has a decay, he's going to bring it out, which is all right, because then it, you know, eats that up. Again, I wish I had more Deathfire Crescendos, because that could be insane. Okay, he's not going for the uh, Decay. It's not a spell. I assume he knows it's not a spell. Cycle the Devour. Okay, we want to use this. I'll use two mana, which is just a lure. It's not great. Uh, alternatively... No, there aren't really any alternates. I could lure that away. Doesn't really do anything. Um, shit. We don't want to be hit by his uh, his five attack. That's that's not what we are about. If I lure it away, it leaves four mana. I could play a rush minion. I could play the tiger just to eat up a charge. Fudge. I mean, I've got to assume he's not going to waste a charge on this thing. Wraithling Swarm would be decent right now, but he'll likely just use a Decay on it. Portal Guardian, well, that's going to get uh, transformed real quick. And once again, he kind of just... Okay, I, I don't really care. It's going to get transformed. That does change this, so it can't attack, which is annoying. But it can still be used for a devourer. So if we move this here and we transform this, I can't use it with devourer because I need one more mana, but I'm a smart guy. We're 
kind of keeping all his shit under control. We're just not doing a whole lot with it. But I guess we're waiting for the synergy to appear. Maybe he's one of those guys that think uh, Entropic Decay is real clunky. Wow. I didn't expect that. Ah, uh, there we go. Dying Wish is to deal 5 damage to me and restore 5 health to him. So, it's not something I'm eager to see. Let's get rid of one of these. We've got Black Solus. I mean, this is priority 1. Um... Shit. I don't know. I really want to eat up his charges, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. He'll likely have a decay to deal with that, but... What option do I... I mean, he's going to have a decay to deal with anything big, so... Oh no, a dispel. Well, okay, I still have a 4-4 four -four with Frenzy. I'm not going to complain on that, because then I can just hit a 0-6 and it'll kill this if I'm next to it. So, oh no, it has Provoke. I can't really get around that. Okay, so he's going to have another dispel. That's something to keep in mind. Okay, I mean, I guess. <sighs> this is just not useful. This could be useful. We do this. 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 Oh, freaking, um... Dispels Frenzy. Got him, dumb. Alright, that's gonna get dispelled. Or decayed, either way. Yeah, that was a no-brainer. I, I really should have killed that. I didn't think about it. It's not GG, because I have the potential for a lot of burst. If he doesn't kill this. But of course he's going to... Why would he not dispel that? It's a zero cost spell. It's incredible. So my burst potential is down to... I can't, I can't attack him, so these are completely worthless against him. He's going to blind Scorch as well. Of course, so... What are my options? I have no options. Because I have no... If, I, if this dies without me dispelling it, which I can't dispel it. Okay, so we'll cycle this. Again, that doesn't leave me anything. Okay, so that's 9 mana, which would be 3... 
No. Oh no. So it'd be three, five, s 11, 16. No, there's no way. I mean, I can try, but there's no real way. Because. Shit. I can basically just push shit in his way. Hello to flu. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> okay, so now he's basically just guaranteeing I only have one turn left. And he's got more heals. Yeah, my capacity for killing him in the next turn. I mean, 23 burst is... It's crazy. I mean, I can give it everything I got, but... Not quite close enough. Got him down to seven. <sighs> Damn. Hell of a fight. But with all the dispels, I just couldn't get any synergy going. I just don't know what I can really do to combat dispels. You know, I can't... I mean, anti-magic fields, I guess, would be a possibility, but that's... That's even more situational, then. Abyssian versus Abyssian. Uh-oh. Mirror match. <sighs> Ugh, God. Oh, God. Oh, so he's got, like, an incredible opening, and I have uh, jack shit. That's good. At least we got that going. God. So we're basically fighting each other's uh, death synergy. It basically just comes down to draw most of the time. That dispelled the uh, the mana spring. That's interesting.
Okay, so if I had put it anywhere in this region, he would have just traded his uh, light bender for this, so that's why I put it over there, even though it's going to dump Wraithlings in this corner. Which of the generals has the best diversity for the most uh, most type of play style? Oh boy. Um I guess I would probably say Leonar, but it's hard to say at this point in time. They're all very unique. Okay, so we got the mini jaxes, which is a problem because I can't really easily deal with them. I can just kind of ignore it. Cycle this. No, I don't want to cycle the solar. There's a lot of potential there. Shadow. Okay. This is the point where I get the uh, dark transformation. Yeah, so I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't have nearly enough experience with the game or each general to really give a good statement on that question. Um, again, I would say Leonar because they kind of have a good foundation of just solid minions, and then you can kind of throw other stuff in there, but it's like. Each general kind of has their theme, and then all the neutral stuff. There's no neutral spells or neutral artifacts. Hmm. <laughs> Plus two attack and flying. That's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, it's good artifact. I approve of that artifact. He didn't do anything to my black souls, which is interesting. Do we have a kill? This will give plus eight, so a 16, and then I can bring it up to 18. I don't think I can kill him. I don't think I have enough mana to kill him. But we can do, we can make it close. Oh, no, I could just use this. I would give. I would give a kill. <sighs> um. Victory. Well, Lightbender. I mean, obviously, has the downfall of its very situational if you, and if you don't have anything nearby that you want to spell you know if it, i guess light bender's better Abyssian if you're kind of on the losing Abyssian. side whereas shroud is better to just deal with one nagging problem They're both useful, but I don't know how many light benders I'd put in my deck. Whereas I'd tough to imagine a deck without the shroud. What the hell? Okay. Three one. Double rush.
Okay. It's kind of like just playing an Iron Beak Owl for the hell of it. But alright. I guess if you really wanted the mana. That was an odd trade. So, I mean, that's a strategy, I guess. I can't deny him that it's a, to just eat up all the mana springs, so I can't. But now he's boxed in, so let's see it. Okay, that's a decent play. I won't argue that one. Shroud does nothing. One of the first Satan. No, I probably want to rush it. That leaves me two mana to do nothing really. Alternatively, you can bring out Black Solus. Trade two. If he dark transforms this, it's basically his turn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, that's not a card I don't know if I'd ever put in my deck. It just doesn't seem like a worth a slot. Okay. Um. Let's see if he has another one. Okay. So now he's just going to be evading all of my shit, which is annoying. So I need to really box him in. This spell doesn't... See, this is why you need that rust coiler or whatever the hell it's called. Like, none of this really matters, because you can just fly away from everything. So do I want to actually spread it out? It is a good artifact. Giving your general flying is very good, especially since I have no provokes. 
He's got Jack's true sight. Very dangerous. He's out of range. He's out of range of a lot of shit. Gonna play this first. What was I thinking? What are my alternatives? Rush. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of death. I would love to play a Shadow Dancer, but I think if I do, it's basically GG? Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. We're just gonna go for it. This kills this. This kills this to kill this. This kills this. One out of time. This one's over there. Actually, shit, do I have lethal? I don't have lethal. Oh, I do. Hold on. No. This guy didn't go. Or maybe he just got summoned. Oh, I died. Anyway, he won anyway. There you go. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. All right, rank 19. Let me update the stream. Take a look here. Abyssal Crawler. Let's get rid of him. Curse of Agony. No. That's kind of basically like a clutch kill, and I think we have we could find something that's a bit more reliable. Shadow Watcher. Also, no, I don't like it. Abyssal Juggernaut, drop it, we can find a better 4 drop. I think the rest is alright. Okay, I don't think there's anything in the Abyssian set that I really want. Shadow Nova is the big spell. <sighs> Turns a 2x2 two two area into Shadow Creep, which is basically... In a non-Shadow Creep deck, it's basically a 7-cost spell that does 4 damage to everything in that range. Not great. Alright, so for 1-drops, ignoring the Helm of Mechazor, which we will ignore, we have the Dragon Lark, which is 2-1 with Flying, which is not bad. I might pick that. Komodo Charger, which is a 1-3. Which doesn't really help us because we want stuff to die, so that's not great. And then the Planar Scout is one to airdrop. Also potentially useful, but I'd rather just have the Dragon Lark. So we'll throw two of those in. I have 12 spells, so a Mana Forger could be useful. We'll try it. Blood Tier Alchemist, we could use that to kill some things. I'll throw one of those in, then I want a four drop. Frostbow Naga. Or the Lightbender, we could throw one of those in to dispel. Hmm. Or we could... Throw in a Provoke. I guess that could be what is this deck is really missing. We'll throw in a Provoke. And a Silhouette Tracer. Try that. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I definitely have seen Planar Scout used for grabbing mana orbs. 
but it's like, is that worth a spot in my deck just for that? And, I mean, placing it behind enemy lines, <laughs> it's possible. I'm trying to think of the benefits of the deck over the dragon lark. The one damage really just kills it. If it was a 2-1 with airdrop. Lionar versus Abyssian. Night Sorrow Assassin, I guess. There's really no benefit to putting that on turn one at all. But I'll also put mine on, I guess. Twitch is having issues. They stopped giving a shit. Like, how many possible options could he have? Just, just end it. Silhouette Tracer. Black Solus. <sighs> ah! Okay. I mean, I... I don't think there's any benefit to me snatching up this mana spring. I will snatch up this one. I guess I'll put the Shadow Dancer out instead of the Black Solus. I think the, the Black Solus is more valuable to me, so if he's going to pull some shit, I'd rather it be on the Shadow Dancer. Well, he better kill the dragon lark then. This guy is rank 30, so this could be his first game. Focusing on a specific general, or am I trying out everything? Here's the problem with trying out everything in the pre-alpha right now, is you don't get enough cards to make every deck worthwhile. It's either... you you When you open up your first 20 booster packs that they give you, you have to look at what you got. And you have to see which which deck is going to be your best bet. I could make, you know, okay decks across the board, but... I like Abyssian, so I'm going to stick with that. Okay, so this is going to go over here. get moved up. This will get moved up here. This will get moved up. That'll kill that. I'll hold it there. I was focusing on Vitruvian, but again, I just... I could have done a non-Dervish deck, I guess, with Vitruvian. But it's like, I need, I need more obelisk. I just need more cards to really make that work. Synergy is really important in almost every deck, except Leonar. I think Leonar is the most forgiving for not having amazing cards. Six mana, one of these is going to get 
demonic lured. The other is probably going to be rushed down. We're going to bring out this, so that's six. I'll cycle out Darkfire Sacrifice. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this one, but it's probably one of his first games. <laughs> yeah, Leonar is probably... I think best for beginners. You get a lot of um, just good quality, provoked minions and stuff like that. So you can see, you know, how positioning should work and things like that. Songhai Arcanist spell based deck. Yeah, I can definitely see that working. But I'm just so. I, I probably should sell off everything for other decks and just make one good one. That's what I think what people recommend, but I, I, I'm way too squeamish about that. All right, we have 105 gold, so let's open up a booster pack. Okay, we have another Darkfire Sacrifice. Very excited about that. We have another Auron Nexus for Leonar. Friendly minion gets plus three health. Not great. Another Light Chaser. Mm, I think there's a possibility down the road of maybe a Leonar healing control deck that could work, but that's not really my style. Another Blaze Hound. I think I already have three of them. Another Deep Fire Devourer. That could go in. And then a Sandbur. 4-4 four, four for 4. Neutral. Takes no damage from ranged enemies. Right now, ranged is not that common. You know, some people sprinkle them in there, but there's no, like, ranged deck as far as I've seen. There's just not enough cards to make that work. Um, if that ever becomes a thing, then Sandboro would be popular as well as the, um... What is that called? What is it called? What is it called? Oh, I probably got rid of that. It was like a 1-7, and uh, ranged minions have to attack it first. And I disenchanted it because I didn't think it would be popular for a while all right so let's take a look then at our abyssians so we got another deep fire devourer we want to get that in there so let's get rid of a shadow dancer actually and then we got another dark fire sacrifice do i want two of those even <sighs> That's so... I mean, yeah, I guess it does kill one of my shit. That could work. But generally, I'm in a position where I can kill my own stuff by throwing it at enemies. I don't know if I want another Darkfire Sacrifice. I mean, in general, I'm not going to, like, disenchant it, but... I don't know if this deck needs another one. Deathfire Crescendo would have liked one of those. Yeah, Jax is pretty much the best ranged thing, but it's a legendary, so. Yeah. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. Okay, what are the- I don't think I have any quests. Oh no. Songhai and against a friend. Well, I'll keep against a friend, because that's really easy to get. Win two games using only cards costing three or less. Okay, we could make that. We could make that happen. Um, 
I don't know what would be best for that at this point. Maybe Songhai. They have a lot of good three and under shit. Let me try this. Uh, alright. Let's guess we'll throw that in, that in, this in, this in, this. Eight gates. I'm still waiting for that to pay off, so we'll throw it in. Throw this in. Throw all these, gotta have all this. Throw in one of those, Cyclone Mask, this, all three of these, and the Onyx Bear Seal. I already got almost the whole deck just off of that shit. We'll throw in two of these, one of these, two of these, one of these. Sure, this is going to tank. Sure. It's rank 15, oh boy. This is gonna go well. It was actually a misplay, I shouldn't have done that. I was planning to get that mana spray, I don't know why, what I was thinking. Because he's probably just going to use the... the two damage spell to kill this. Yeah, that thing sucks. Yeah, I, I had heard about this whole uh, Azurite lion combo wombo shit, and um, they just nerfed this thing. It used to have Rush, apparently, which is kind of insane if you ask me. Oh, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. He lost his zeal bonus, so it lost the 4 health, which means that it died. I'm pretty sure he didn't intend for that to happen. But good god, that is funny. Hmm, okay. Martyrdom on the Veil Hunter. That was half his turn. Okay. 
right? So this is two. This would be one. So that's three, five, six, six. Yes. I'm gonna play this here. I'm gonna kill this. Nope. Fuck. Fuck that up. Cause this guy was supposed to come out. Shit. This. This. So a slight, this guy would be a 3-4, which when you think about it is kind of big. Oh well. This thing is so interesting. I mean, very interesting. I think if a ranged deck works, nice! <laughs> You'd a rank 15 with a chump deck. Rank 18. I think if a, uh, if a range deck works, I think Songhai would be where it's at. They have a, they have that spell that says like you, you put it on a minion and then anything damaged by that minion dies. That's crazy. With ranged, I'm always trying to get that combo to work. It doesn't usually happen, but... Songhai versus Abyssian. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So for Abyssian, it depends on his deck. <laughs> If it's similar to my deck, then we're going to want to fish for Ghost Lightning to hold on to at the right time. Yeah, they're the Death Strike Seal. It's crazy. If it works. Yeah, the right time would be, uh, now, actually. Didn't get it. Okay, then, uh, this guy is our... It's our alternate... We do want to kill as much as we can before she can really he can really benefit. Well, I've been trying to convert you, Ziggy, but you never I you didn't really listen to me on Hearthstone. You didn't really listen to me here. You need to just trust in Mang. He knows what he's talking about. the hell just happened? What did he put on there? I feel like that didn't work how it was meant to work. Now this thing's gonna hit me in the face for a lot. Alright, that actually is not terrible. We stabilized. Let's get rid of this. Not great. We actually don't have a very good setup here. Can I buff this twice? Yes. I actually don't have enough mana to buff it twice. Ah, shit. Well, then I'll hit him hard. I don't care. 
Why didn't I put this here? What was I thinking? See, that's like a big... There's so much more strategy to this game. Now he swooped in. Okay. The Chakri's gonna come out. I mean, I have that combo. I guess cycle this? Okay, we could dispel it, but that doesn't... Anyway, I can not... Can I buff this out of the range? Probably not. But I need to do two damage to that. I, mm, if I play two spells, I can kill him with that. Okay, so if I play this here, this here. Do I have enough? I don't even have enough mana. Shit. So this didn't mean anything. Well, I lost that up pretty good. This is gonna suck. Question is, can you deal with that? Can you deal with that? Because this is gonna get the Death Strike seal, and then it's it's Pound Town, my friend. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get low. I know that. Okay, I guess it's all right. Cycle that. Additional two damage. So this would do five damage. Doesn't benefit me though. I still can't kill him. Because I would do five damage. This guy would do four. That'd be nine. It wouldn't be even close. So it doesn't benefit me. This benefits me. And I can put this here. He's dispelled, so he's worthless. I think we'll just yeah, box him in. That's worrisome. Okay. So that's five, five. Okay. Leaving me with no minions and uh, a pain in the ass. Oh man, that's problematic. That's my turn. I basically just have to hope that this survives. Because I have too many damn spells in my deck. God damn it. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I got nothing then. He dark transformed a 1-1. One, one. Good lord. That's how you know you just have a shit ton of good stuff in your deck. What has he got to worry about? He airdrops in a blaze hound. What do I possibly have that could deal with this? If I don't have a minion, there's nothing I got. You can buff that just for the hell of it. Okay, I can put down a provoke, but that doesn't really do anything. I can put this on it. You 
Should I hit this? I don't know. You're putting me at one health? What does he have that can do one health? Oh, I don't know, like any rush minion, I guess? Alright, thanks for watching to flu. Yep, Void Pulse, that'll do it. I don't feel too bad, because this is just a complete gimmick deck. They make me do just to complete a damn quest. Unfortunately, it affects my rank, because there's no casual... There's no casual thing going on. Actually, I might want to keep that. Although, it... okay, we can deal with any artifacts if he brings out those crazy bullshit. All right, well, good thing I kept the dispel then. <clears throat> Um, Cosmic Flesh? That's a Vitruvian card, right? No, no. Is that a Magmar card? I don't even remember anymore. It all blends together. That's not true, but... Hmm. That's problematic until I pick up Ghost Lightning. Uh... Throw that, that doesn't help me anything. Just hit him, you have backstab plus one, you'll do one damage. Damn you. He <laughs> dispelled this. It no longer has range. Yeah, I doubt I'll be ranked 12 by the time you get back. Not with this deck. This is a sorry state of affairs. This gives me ranged. That is potential, right? Right. Right. Cycle this. He doesn't have any artifacts. Another ranged. This needs to die, though. Question is, how is it going to happen? If I buff this twice, that would be a 9 4. So it would kill it, but it would die. If I buff myself twice, I'll be at a 8 with range for this turn. I think that's possibly a better route yeah you make that sad face see if I care Got double phoenix fire but he'll likely kill this so that won't get any benefit we want to bring out the jade monk okay, so 
that it ate up one of my ranged charges, but he declined to take one up himself. Interesting. He's probably going to bring out something big. A sand Howler. Good counter to this deck, because I can't Phoenix Fire it. And his own staff of Yakir. Cycle out one of these. Okay. That'll probably get played. Put that here. Put this guy here. Get rid of your bullshit. Move this guy in and sack. I put that in the wrong spot. I didn't think that through. We're doing all right. Dispelled. It's all right. I got another one on the way. Don't worry. I like, I like how the numbers are always ahead of the, uh, the cars. Two sticks. That would be a three, five, three, done. Okay, yes, range to kill that. All right, so that's four, and then another one of these. I will accept that. That. That, kill that, kill this. Okay. I don't think this deck is great, but it's fun, so... That's okay. Wind Shriek. And, um, Drain Morale. Ooh, that gives his, uh, guy plus one attack. All happen there. I'm gonna cycle out this. Nice, very nice. <laughs> that included that effect. Holy shit. That's insane. <laughs> this is so freaking cheesy. Uh-oh. Airdrop in. And Cosmic Flash. There it is. Okay. So that gives it six health, which is annoying. I'm probably gonna have to take the hit, although these might deal with it. So I guess we'll do that first. So we're gonna have both. Well, I guess it's just. Well, I guess no, that should. Oh no, it hit that guy. Damn it. He doesn't have that effect, so I think we're gonna have to eat the the six damage here. I 
I actually, I like, I don't have much late game potential. I just kind of have to hope for the best. Like, that's real dangerous. I need a Death Strike Seal to deal with that, so yeah, I have to get rid of that. That is worthless to me. Ghost Lightning doesn't help. He's got card draw. This doesn't look good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All the buffs, all the everything. I need... I don't know what I need. I'll play this, although I don't think it benefits me. Okay. Okay, I guess. There you go. Doesn't change a damn thing. Because he's got this beast of a monster here. That's GG. Damn! Really thought I might have had that, but his late game pulled it out. That was 18 turns, and I bumped down a rank. God! Just let me finish his quest! If there was a casual mode, it would work out. But you know, like, if you attempt these quests... Like, what if I was rank 5? There's no way I'd ever complete this quest. Another rank 15. Well, that's good. Okay, well, he's got to know that's going to die. <laughs> I'm going to cycle this. Okay, that's good. I like that. So, I have four mana. So... This guy is going to move here, and he's going to get buffed to kill this thing. I guess I'll play this, because I'm going to be summoning this guy, and I'll kill that.
you just <laughs> it's tricky <laughs> Okay. Alright, well that's probably getting dispelled. Just bring this big daddy out. It'll work out. It'll work out, man. No, don't you dare! Uh <laughs> God. Everybody hates on range. Ooh, the Arclight Regalia, aka like the best artifact in the game. Gets plus two attack, and then anytime he takes damage. Or at least the first time each turn, he prevents two of it. Which, so, basically, if it's two or less, he prevents it completely, which means he doesn't lose an artifact charge, so. We need to get rid of that. Um, unfortunately, we don't have many options. We might say we have no option. I mean, I can Phoenix fire him for one damage and lose one charge. But I guess I'm basically just fishing for the, the artifact destroyer. Or, you know, a minion. But I didn't get any. I didn't get any. I could just stand here and take it. Or I can move, which doesn't do anything. Because you can just shift everything over. I don't know what to do. Okay, that's potential, I suppose. Oh god, this is like the combo wombo deck that I just I read about. I had yet to encounter until now. I didn't know what anybody was talking about. He's like, "What's this lion arc light? What are you talking about?" But no, there there it is. I guess I probably want to turn. No, I can just kill that. So I guess we'll do this, this. This? But it's- that arc light is crazy, cause he can just- He can kill anything! He can kill anything! With four attack and he never has to worry! This is the worst deck to go up against that. I need the artifact destroyers. And he's got his true strikes. And he's probably going to hit this, so he doesn't have to deal with that either. And he's just living a... Oh no, more true strikes. Just living a peachy life. So then he can just hit me for four. Pretty much until I die. Oh, there's the Tempest. Brilliant. He didn't even hit me. Okay. I can also get a Tempest out. Although, now that I did that, it just kills this, so what the hell was the point of that? I don't know. I'll be damned if I know. So he doesn't even he doesn't need to play any minions. He doesn't need that. Why even bring that out? What does that do for you? It just pisses me off is what it does. Oh god, he's just being an ass. That artifact is so ridiculous. Ah.
I don't know. I have to do something. But he can just move there and hit me. What did I do? I'm so dumb. Ah, oh, God. I don't know. This is just GG at this point. This is pathetic. That artifact. Like, good God. That needs to be nerfed. I thought it just was nerfed. I have to look this up. I thought it was just nerfed. I could be wrong, but that is insane. Why does this exist? That breaks the uh, the game balance. Because then you, you are forced to include artifact destroying stuff. Or you have to cater your deck to that shit. That shouldn't be what happens. Yes. I'm mad. No, I don't think it was even nerfed. No, it wasn't nerfed. I think it was nerfed at some point, but that that is its current form, apparently. They changed... I mean, they, they put in the Rust Crawler thing to kind of combat it, but... It's like, oh yeah, if you either put that in your deck or you're screwed. Man, that's crazy. I need that card. <sighs> damn, 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 damn. Alright, well, Twitch tells me that I'm down to, uh, to one viewer, apparently, so... And it's probably me. But, um... Yeah, Duelist is a Duelist is a damn good game. Obviously, they're on you know they're on patch 0 0.0.18. They have a lot of work to do. They got a lot more to add. They definitely need a casual play mode that's not ranked. I don't know why that that seems like an easy thing to add, but uh, that would that would help. There's balance issues. They need more cards, so on and so forth. But in my opinion. It has more potential in Hearthstone, at least for me at this point. Hearthstone is just old hat. And this game looks better. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to occasionally stream Duelist. Uh, it doesn't track a lot of... Uh, doesn't, you know, track a lot of viewer attention. Cause I, nobody's nobody's heard of this game. I'm doing my best to try to this, get this game out there, but I don't. I don't have the sex appeal of somebody like Crip to really push it. Damn shame. But in time, people will hear about this game, and then uh, I can say that I played it before it was cool. Yeah, it is too new for viewers. That's all right. I will uh, I will continue to proclaim that it's is good, regardless of who listens. But, anyways, uh, thank you uh, for watching. If you did, if you are still here, and uh, yeah, my name is Mang. It's been uh, Mang the Duelist, aspiring Duelist, I guess. And I'll see you fine folks around.